Welcome to my channel, Mathematics Simplex. My name is Trisha Morris, and just as so you're seeing the ocean, loving the scenery, that is what I want you to grasp today. And for the rest of the time that you watch my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Press that button. You won't miss anything once you press it. Now, today I'll be talking about logarithms, and remember, my aim is always to make maths become simpler than before. What are the laws of logarithms? Now, we know that when we add, and just remember, the bases have to be the same. So, this rule is saying that when we add, two logs you should be now saying that okay i actually multiply so when i add i know i will multiply and the bases have to be the same we also know that when we subtract so when we have the subtraction sign we know that we are basically dividing. So when we add, we multiply, and when we subtract, we divide. So you're gonna see me have P over Q. We also know that here, the base and the number beside it, if they are the same, I know the value is one. We also know that it doesn't matter what is my base, as long as I see log one, the answer is zero. Finally, we have that if we have a power. So if I have a power, we know we can raise, basically put it in front of the log, so you have n log x p, and those are the laws. Now, let's look at this. So if I have log c 2 x, we should realize that I need to apply the last law that I have because 8, I know, it is the same thing as two to the three. And then applying the rule that says we can bring the power in front. So if I carry this power in front, it becomes three log two, two. And then we know that this rule is saying, if these are the same, then it is one. All of this is the same. So it means that this is three times the number one. So three times one is three. Here's another exercise. Suppose we have, for example, log two nine over log two 27. Now, what we can do, we can change nine to base three, so we know that nine is the same thing as three square, and 27 is the same thing as three to the three. Then we can go and put the two in front and the three in front because realize we have a power. So we have two log two three over three log two three. Now if you realize all I did was put a power two in front of the log and the power three in front of the log. Now, 
if you realize this log two three in the numerator is the same as the denominator so we can go ahead and cancel so canceling this i have now two over three so my answer here is two over three now i'm going to do another example now say for example we have log say the base is 2 x square r cube minus 3 log base 2 x r cube. Now the first thing we have to do is carry this power forward. So it becomes a power, remember? We can go in the reverse. So this end, we can bring it so that it becomes the power for the P. So if you have it right here, we write back log two, base two, x square r cube minus log two. Now this three will be shared by the x and the r square. So if you realize I'm gonna put a bracket, so I have x r square, close bracket, and then three. Now, a little bit of indices is going to happen. So I put a one here and I'm going to multiply and I'll do a video eventually on indices if somebody is not remembering indices just let me know so you have log 2 x square r to the 3 minus log 2 remember that 2 is just the base then i have x 1 times 3 that's 3 then write r, 2 times 3, that's 6. Now when you minus, you divide. So you write the log once. Then I'm going to, remember this rule, minus, we divide. So x square r cube will be in my numerator. x square r cube. And in that denominator, I will have x cube are six. Now we can either subtract using laws of indices or we can eliminate. Now I am going to use a subtraction. So subtraction means that I write the base one, so I have x. Then the power for x is two minus three. And then for r, I write the base r, then I write the numerator power first. So it's three minus six. So it means that what do I have? It's log, or what I'll do, I'll just simplify it right here rather than because it's in this corner. So two minus three, that will be negative one. So this is x to the negative one, and this is a r three minus six. So I'm gonna erase this part. And three minus six, that's a negative three. And that's it. Now for addition, we know we multiply. So what I'm going to do, I am going to redo this but if we have multiplication. So I'm gonna do it in terms of when we have multiplication, what will happen? So we have x squared r to the three minus three. Again, we write back log two, base two, 
x square r cube minus log two then in brackets i'm going to have x r square close bracket and then we have the power three just as before in this is laws we have to multiply the powers so you have two log x square r cube minus log two one times three so that is x to the three two times three that's r to the six No, what I should have had is plus, because I said I'm doing addition, so I'm doing that correction. So I'm doing addition. So with addition, we say we multiply. So multiply means, from indices, when we multiply, we add the power. So we have x squared times x to the cube. So that means it's gonna be x to the, the two plus the three gives me x to the five. Then we have r to the 3 and r to the 6. So it's going to be r 3 plus 6. And that gives me 9. So in this case, when addition, we still have to count the power. Remember the x and the r square are both sharing the power. And when we're trying to clear the bracket, it's not just the r square that's going to have the power, but also the x. So I have a one to remind you that we're gonna see one times three to give me three, and two times three to give me six. Once we have done so, we can now apply the rule that says addition means we multiply. So we write the log with its base once, then we multiply, so you have x squared times x to the three, and what we do, we write the x once, then we add the 2 plus the 3 to give me 5. Then we have R, 3 plus 6 to give me 9. And there you go.